Hey everyone, today is June 14th, and it's the feast of St. Anthony of Padua, who is a pretty popular saint. You'll see him in a lot of churches, you'll see his statue. A lot of times he's pictured with holding the baby Jesus. He's in a, in a habit, in like a, a Franciscan habit, so like a brown or black habit with a white belt. And then he's holding a baby Jesus. You might know St. Anthony because uh, he's the patron saint for lost things. So when you lose something, you can say, Tony, Tony, look around. Something's lost and must be found. That's kind of my little rhyme that I use. And um, sometimes, actually, it works most of the time. But anyway, today, we also get to hear from Jesus in his Sermon on the Mount. And this is where he says that you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be uh, hidden, but it is, it is there so that all people around can see. What does Jesus mean when he says we are the salt of the earth or we are the light of the world? Well, I think it's a couple of things. St. Anthony actually is a great example of what this looks like. So St. Anthony was, you know, he was an inspired guy. He really wanted to, uh, he really wanted to serve. But also, he, was, he wasn't all that, like, he, he was kind of reserved as well. And, but there was a moment, um, it, it says in like the, the resources for today that there was a moment where St. Anthony was at a, uh, at a mass where there were a lot of people there and it came time for some, someone to preach and it, it turned out they had somehow, there was miscommunication and no one was ready to preach at that moment. It says that St. Anthony humbly comes up and he preaches in a magnificent homily that gets all the way back to the ears of St. Francis, who was a contemporary of his. And uh, St. Francis then asks St. Anthony to train the brothers in the ways of faith and the ways of theology, the other Franciscans. And what, why I think that that's a great example of being salt or light is that being light of the world means that we do not hide our gifts or we don't hide our faith in this world. But we, we understand the value of it and that it should be shared. I think that for some of us, it just feels like I'm, I'm not the person to speak of or I, I'm not that kind of outgoing type of person or I don't know enough to speak about it well. And while that might be, we might feel that way, we have to give the Lord a chance to actually work through us or to understand what it is we really know and what we don't know and, and then to kind of refine that. It's for us to continue to learn, but above all, to ask the Holy Spirit for his inspiration and to enlighten our hearts and to bless the words that we speak. For us, we have to be the light of the world. We have to, and especially in a moment, in a time like this, in our, in our day and age, we need people to speak up, to be the light of Christ in the world because there is a lot of darkness. We need people to be the salt of the earth, meaning to make life more mm, flavorful. You know those people that just kind of make things more fun. And a lot of times it's because they are just totally sold out for Jesus. So some of those people are the most fun people to be around. Life is always interesting around them because of their love for the Lord. So I invite you today to be the light of the world, be the salt of the earth, and do not be afraid to share your faith with others. You might be doing the best thing you could in th today, and you could do it every day.